In today's video, we're going to learn about Sora AI, the new AI model that allows you to just use your words and create anything and everything. Take a look at these two videos on the screen right now. Which one do you think is AI generated or a fake video? Don't worry, I'll give you a little time to look at it. Do, 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 do. All right, time is up. If you guess neither are AI generated, you would be wrong. Actually, both are AI generated. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Oh. Now, my first question was, what is Sora? Sora AI is a game changer for the AI space. You can create imaginative and realistic videos from only using text descriptions alone. Imagine having a dream and being able to recreate that dream almost scene for scene just by typing it to a computer. Or if you want to make a music video, type everything out and it will make the music video for you. Or let's say you're a director or a film creator or you want to make a movie. All this is now possible with Sora. All you have to do is type it out and now you have your own work of art. How's this good work? So how does Sora work? Sora is trained on a massive data set of text and videos paired up. This allows Sora to understand the relationship between the text and the visual element. So when I type in show me a pirate ship inside of a coffee cup, it can understand what a pirate ship should look like and what a coffee cup contains. And when it puts these video elements together, it now can make a cohesive video that you can see on the screen right now. Now we all know AI has made leaps and bounds and has become being more proficient at creating AI generated images. Right now on the screen, you see two images that are generated. But when I tell the AI to make motion of these images, you see that there's less cohesiveness amongst the videos. Now look at this video that Sora AI created with the same text prompt that I gave the other AI model. Now take a look at what is actually on the screen. First, let us understand that none of the things on the screen right now are actually real red. Everything is generated by AI. The reflections of the water on the ground, the people in the background, the signs, the street itself, everything is made in a way that you could not tell that this was not real. Even though the jewelry on the leather bag she's carrying, it moves with the same gravity that you would suspect it to move with. The flowiness of the fabric of the leather jacket, the dress, everything about this, even her walk, the fact that it's not perfect. The reflections you can see inside of her glasses, everything has its own way and look that gives it this realistic feel. Now, if AI is already at a position that it can make something look like this, when we can see the complexion of her skin, the earrings in her ear, the wrinkles on her neck, ridiculous. As you can see, this video is almost flawless. The detail, the fact that AI is already at this point, and what I always like to remind myself is that today is the worst that AI will ever be. And if we're making videos like this, I can only imagine what to look out for in a year's time. So what can Sora actually do? The possibilities right now are almost mind blowing. It can make up to a minute long video with complex scenes, multiple characters, specific motions, and can use detailed backgrounds and it can handle realistic settings to the whimsical and wonderful settings that are make-believe and it can use the complex scenes and understand how certain things would act in the real world so if i drop a banana peel and someone walks over the banana peel it understands that people usually slip on banana peels amazing <laughs> all right now to address the two biggest questions i know most of you have one, what are the weaknesses to Sora AI? And then two, when can I get my hands on it? Shut up and take my money! Now, OpenAI has been pretty transparent about the problems that Sora AI currently has. A lot of them deal with the simulating physics of most complex scenes. It really doesn't understand a lot of the cause and effect of things that happen in life. For example, a person might take a bite of a cookie, but afterwards the cookie might not have the bite mark there anymore. Um, sometimes it mixes up left and right, ups and downs, east and west. And uh, sometimes it might not have the right event or time and place of certain events that happen in history. Or it might not be able to have the camera's trajectory follow the action correctly. So there are limitations, but they're being worked out as we speak. And as for the availability of Sora AI, 
It's created by the same company that made ChatGPT, OpenAI. And OpenAI is very meticulous at their approach to keeping safety amongst their product. They're trying to make sure that they have people and experts that can make sure that all the misinformation, hateful content, and biases don't make it onto this application, as well as making sure nothing violates their policies, even from extreme violence, sexual content, or hateful imagery. All these things are a lot for OpenAI to try to keep up, but they are saying that it should be out soon. So what did you guys think about Sora? Do you think it's something that you would want to use? Are there any limitations that you say, like maybe it won't be able to work for you? Let me know down in that comment section. And as well, drop us a like if you actually learned something new within this video. That is always a goal over here at My Muscle TV. And I imagine if you had Sora, you could probably create one of the best YouTube slash TikTok channels ever. But you probably need to get on it quite quickly because TikTok is actually about to get banned in the US. Check the video I have on the screen right now. My name is Donnie D and as always, stay 